Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. And here it is, a one color wonder. And we'll do the inside and the envelope. Join me in the studio and I'll show you how. For my one color wonder, I had to choose, I chose colorful seasons and I'm going to use the two leaves and mossy meadow. I'm also pulling in the itty bitty greetings for the many thanks because I wanted a sentiment. I am using the classic label punch. For my paper, I have a piece of mossy meadow that is two and a half by four and four, two and a half by four and a fourth. I have a scrap of whisper white. I have a piece of whisper white that's two and a fourth by four. My card base is whisper white and it's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have my envelope. I'm gonna use the seasonal layers thinlets and the die and I need another piece. This isn't big enough. I'm gonna need another piece of white. Ah, good thing I got one sitting here I can use. Um, so I'm gonna cut a leaf out. I am using some of the Magnolia Lane DSP, specifically the striped. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to do some stamping. So I'm going to pull in my Mossy Meadow ink and I'm gonna need a piece to stamp off so let me grab a piece of scratch paper here. I've got a bunch sitting up here that I had used before that I can use again. Okay. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to, oops, it didn't ink up all the way. Now it is. I'm going to off stamp it first and then stamp it again. Then I'm going to take my layer and I'm going to stamp it on top like so. I probably should have done that the other way around. I think I'll do that for this piece because it'll be easier. Now I'm going to stamp and I'm just going to Pull this in. I'm going to do some off stamping again. Oops, I remembered. I want to go this one first. And I'm just going to stamp this all over. Just to create my background. There. And now I'm going to come in with the layer and I'm going to off stamp it and stamp it on top. There we go. And I'm going to off do that for every one of them. Oops, that one goes that way. Maybe not. Which way did it go? It's got to go that way. There it is. Of course, then you got to get it lined up. I have a bubble on my stamp, and it's not. I don't know if you can see. Well, maybe the next time when I have it. Oops, I well, we can't show you that way. I was going to show you the bubble, but I can't show you then either because it's okay. Um, it's right up in there, and I, hopefully, you can see that spot. That's a bubble. 
Um, if you get those, what you want to do is you want to kind of pull your stamp out and then stick it down again and the bubble goes away. Um, but that's sometimes why you get those spots in there. So a little tip for you. Well, now I've got ink all over me. Gotta make sure I don't get it on my card. Sure. Oh. I think I got it off enough that it's not going to get on anything. Let me work on this first because if I'm going to get anything on it, this is the back side. Ah, it's sticking. I need to clean the tip off. It's got a lot of, lot of glue on it. And I know this is upside down from the way I stamped it, but it doesn't matter because this is the layer for the card. And now I'm going to take my mini thanks and my ink. I had to pull in the sentiment from a different stamp set because that one... I didn't particularly care for any of the sentiments in there. All right, let me pull in my label punch and do I want it? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it that way and then I'll take my snips. I'm going to try and do this straight. There we go. Sometimes I can get it and sometimes I can't. Um, that's a good way to use your um, punches to get different layers. All right, now I need to do, let's get this card put together and we'll finish it up with the leaf on the top. All right, now, this goes on here, but before I do it, I'm going to clean this tip off. See all that gook there? It's dragging. And you just, it's just dried glue. There we go. Now it's off. Good. All right, now it won't drag across my paper because it's not sticking. All right, and then this is gonna go right in the middle as close as I can get it. I'm gonna hold it a bit to get it to grab. And I always, even though I cut this the size of the card front, when you fold it, you'll lose just a tiny bit. So just take your scissors and trim it off like so. Little tiny sliver, it's stuck to me. All right, now this piece is gonna go on here, but with dimensionals. So I need to cut a bunch. Should have done this ahead of time. I'm sorry, but at least you now see how I use my half pieces on the edge. I use everything on this sheet. I cut it up and use it. All right, let's see. Add my dimensionals and then to give it a little extra support I'm gonna put one in the middle there and one in the middle down here and now I'm gonna take all my backs off
Okay, I have my backs off. And now, there, I wanted that one down at the bottom. This goes on the card front like so. Now, if you want to step this up, you could use an embossing folder on the back of here. Um, I have to cut this out, so let me do that. And I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of this. Just give it some layering and interest. And I haven't decided about my sentiment yet. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right in the center like so. And now I need my mini thanks. And I think I'm going to put it on dimensionals down at the bottom because then it kind of stands out from the background. Okay, like so. And there it is. And don't forget to do the inside and the envelope. Let's see what we're going to do next in two weeks time. Um, beautiful bouquet. And I've got to get, a, get one. Oh, there's two. I'm not looking. Honest, I'm not. There it is. In terracotta tile. Oh, my least favorite color. If you like my project, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel using the button below. Don't want to miss my ideas. Don't forget to leave me a comment. It helps me out on YouTube and gets me seen more. We have a Facebook group where I do Facebook Live on Thursday evenings. Check out Creations in Paper and join us this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a lot of fun. We've been doing fancy folds. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. Send me a message and we'll see what we can get straight for you. I hope you will join me next week when I do beautiful bouquet and terracotta tile. Have a great day.